Our top story this half hour, government scientists say there is a 95% chance that a strong El Nino weather condition is forming in the Pacific Ocean and will continue through the winter. That could bring much needed rain to the drought ravaged west, but as Ben Tracy shows us, there'll be some rainfall winners and losers. The water in California's Lake Oroville used to reach all the way to the tree line, but the Golden State's reservoirs are running on empty. They've lost six trillion gallons of water during four years of punishing drought. But wild and wet winter weather is now in the forecast for California, thanks to the intense warming of the Pacific Ocean near the equator, known as El Nino. Don't count your raindrops yet. Bill Patzert is a NASA oceanographer. He says El Nino should bring rain to California, but the Pacific Northwest, which has been ravaged by wildfires, is forecast to be drier than normal this winter. And even heavy rain in Southern California is not a drought buster. The area is engineered with concrete channels designed not to capture water, but rather to flush it out into the ocean to protect homes from flooding. We made a decision in Southern California many years ago to turn our great rivers into flood control channels. Because remember, there's only one thing that's more important in California than water, real estate. The state's largest reservoirs are in Northern California, where El Nino storms are much less likely to hit. Pacific Ocean temperatures are also so warm, NASA hydrologist Jay Familietti is worried California will get rain, but not the snow it desperately needs. Why is snow so much more important than rain? Think of it as the big uh, statewide freezer that, that keeps the water frozen in the mountains over the winter and then lets it thaw slowly in the spring and trickle down into the reservoirs. And so without the snow, there's nothing to melt. And that could leave those reservoirs still low and dry. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Ben Tracy, Los Angeles.